This is day four in quarantine. Well, day four in, in, in social isolation, but day one in official quarantine because guess who tested positive? <laughs> Yes, indeed. Any um, impressions? We just, we just got off the phone with the doctor and it seems as if I'm uh, corona positive and uh, Louise is corona negative even though she's been sleeping for the past four days next to me which is quite impressive and we've let all our roommates know as well just now and uh, I've been calling my mother, my father, my brother and of course the awkward conversation with my work on um, you know that I'm tested positive so very awkward situation to be in. Uh, it also means that I'm stuck in this apartment for the next two weeks completely. Well, all of us actually. Uh, I've met probably a hundred people in the past two weeks. And um, so I'm kind of, I'm thinking of the action plan on how to contact all of them and let them know that they've been in touch with somebody who's been testing positive. And yeah, and then the most exciting part is of course how us four, five people, and probably half of them hate me at the moment for having Corona. We'll spend the next two weeks just together in this apartment. Yeah, let's have a look at what they think. So, Fitzy. Yeah. News just hit that I have Corona. Yes. How do you feel? Um, great. You know, see the positive thing because we're gonna get very close. Mm. And yeah, maybe we're immune after. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, Fitzy. It's alright. Right. So sorry. Um, how do I put it? Probably a mix of stress to a little bit of sprinkle of comedy on top, uh, a little bit of disbelief. Um, it was a little sh shocking, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, but I think now that it's all settling in. I was called for the first time by the, um, the, the municipality. Uh, because they wanted to check in on my corona status or how I was feeling and um, so they put me officially into quarantine for 14 days. Uh, we're just having a super quick, super nice lunch so I can show you what we put all together quickly. We have a uh, red beet carpaccio with some uh, feta, we have some bruschetta with toasted bread and we have a super tasty pumpkin soup. So this is what we're eating, staying healthy, getting those vitamins in and... So uh, I'm in quarantine, living in close contact with a positive case of corona, sleeping, sharing the bed. Uh, we're not kissing anymore, but I don't know if that will even matter. I mean, I tested negative when Alex tested positive um, and we're gonna get tested again today with all the other roommates and I placed the bet saying I will still be negative but actually I'll be very surprised if I'm not positive this time. So let's go. So we can get out of the house. Yeah, yeah, we're going for a little trip. Except for me. Except for you, because you have to stay inside. <laughs> but we're all going to get tested! All the fresh air, kids. Come on, it's good yeah. for your lungs. The streets are like super empty, and everybody looks at us like super strange. Uh, about to to enter the health authorities, and then we're all gonna get tested. So let's see how that goes. So how was the testing? It was doing really good. They're really nice. But it is the kind of bad case scenario. If one is positive, another two weeks. If another one is positive, another two weeks. Right now we have to have each of us two negatives to get out. So we're gonna be tested again. But yeah, if someone is positive, another two weeks. If now when someone are we is, gonna t be tested again? Depends if we are all positive. If we're all negative? If we're all negative, we're gonna be tested probably in like a week. Yeah, I think, I mean, they're pretty nice. Like nice people, uh, she definitely hit that sweet spot in my throat <laughs> though when she was hammering the... <laughs> it's actually a pretty fucked up situation that uh, we also found ourselves in because we were six people in the flat and one of us got tested positive and then actually it took us, took us ages to get that test first of all. We had to call three different doctors 
um, you have to have all the symptoms so you can't just kind of if you're feeling a bit sick go get tested and be sure so it took us a bit of time and then took us even more time for all of us to get tested because we were in direct contact with the patient zero so it's our first Friday evening and we're out having a pizza We've, evidently we have the club scene in Berlin on our screen as well support your local clubbing scene and here we are everybody together enjoying their pizza to a day of being tested and working at home so as the clubs in Berlin are closed now Fortunately, they found a way of virtually on the screens showing that the DJ still can play in the most famous clubs in Berlin. And uh, Fitzy and Serge discovered it and now it's on 24-7. While well, they're having their wine outside, they can listen to the freshest sounds in techno. Negative. Philip Schaub, negative. Louise, don't know her last name, negative. I said that's what I'm positive. <laughs> yeah, today I was also lying in bed and I was like, man, this is actually real. Like everybody's in the same boat. And I was like, somebody please pinch me and this whole thing is over. But then I realized, no, it's not. And we're stuck. And we don't know if it's two weeks. Or yeah, we don't know how long. Months. It's a weird feeling of sitting in this apartment and knowing it's gonna be in another two weeks and every day is like the same. This is what drives me crazy, to be honest. <laughs> and let's see what's happening tomorrow. 